Ah, oh, what an amazing day. It's finally summer, so now I can finally go for a swim in my amazing pool that took me hours to build. Whoop, don't ignore that. Anyways, let's open the cover for my pool for the first time in one year. Finally, it's warm enough, and now I can finally swim in peace. This is what you get for trying to kill me. All right, now I will click on this button and cover this whole pool. Yes, this is what you get. This is what, what you the? get. Wait, why yes, is the cover the closing? Yes. Wait, no. No, no, no. Let me out. Let me out. No, no, no. no please. Please. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Quick shout out to Blue with the Fruit for asking for this video to be done. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be making a simple oxygen bar script in Roblox Studio. But anyways, guys, if you do have any issues with this video, make sure to join my Discord server or my community or me can help you out. And yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video and let's start making this oxygen system. All right, guys. So the first thing that we need to do for this oxygen system is actually in our starter GUI, we make a screen GUI. Let's call it oxygen gy i'm just gonna put it over here let's make it blue but you guys can make it however you want uh, let's call this background actually and i'll make it a little bit darker blue and then we're actually gonna make this the oxygen bar put it inside move it here make it a little bit lighter and that's basically it for the bar actually let's just add a little bit of a more detail a text label maybe put it here and make the text oxygen make it text scaled background transparency to one and text color three to white let's just change the the font to something like uh fredoka one because it's it looks pretty cool but yeah here we have our little oxygen system you guys can make it as good as you want i kind of rushed it just now but yeah now that we have that let's put a local script inside our oxygen gui let's call it oxygen script now let's get now let's get our player local players equal to game that player is a local player local character is equal to player wait for child character local oxygen bar is equal to script dot oxygen uh, dot parent dot oxygen background dot oxygen bar local in water is equal to false a local oxygen level is equal to let's just set it to a hundred and actually let's do local oxygen bar background is equal to script up here in the oxygen bar background and local oxygen bar is equal to oxygen bar background dot oxygen bar now that we have that we're gonna we're gonna do oxygen bar dot dot visible is equal to false which is gonna make it invisible because we only want the oxygen bar to be visible when we're in the water now we're gonna check if our humanoid is swimming now we're gonna do a check if we're swimming so actually let's make a while wait do if in water is equal to true then oxygen bar dot visible is equal to true and then if oxygen level is larger than zero obviously then oxygen level minus equals one and the slower we want our oxygen to decrease uh, the higher the weight so we could actually do something like 0.5 so that every 0.5 seconds we we get rid of one oxygen let me just make it 0.1 to make it faster and then here we're gonna do else humanoid uh let's actually call the humanoid local humanoid is equal to character dot humanoid we don't have to wait for child because we already wait for it because we already waited for the character but yeah we're gonna do humanoid dot health minus equals one minus equals 10 and in here we're gonna do else oxygen bar dot visible is equal to false if oxygen level is lower than oxygen 100 then oxygen level plus equals one and over here we want to make the bar actually change size depending on the oxygen level because it works so we're gonna so we're gonna do oxygen bar colon tween size udem 2 which is the uh, gy like kind of like vector 2 but it's 2d we're gonna do one one for the scale zero for the offset we're gonna do oxygen level we're gonna do zero we're gonna do enum dot easing direction dot out enum dot easing style dot linear because we want it to be straight and not to slow down or speed up in different areas and the time will be 
the time here so 0 0.1 and let's actually divide it by 100 here so that it doesn't it's going to be really big so let's divide it by 100 here so divided by the oxygen level because one will be the full size then one will be the full size and and yeah that's pretty much it so now if we try this out we can see hmm, that our oxygen bar is visible oh i forgot it, it should be oxygen bar background and here it should be oxygen bar background and oxygen bar background whenever we're setting visible to false or to true so now if we try this out and guys i made a mistake here you don't actually wait for child for the character here so let's just wait for the humanoid here instead and also we actually did not check we did not make the system that checks if we're in the water but <laughs> i can't believe i forgot that but yeah let's actually make that and it's pretty simple it's just humanoid uh dot state changed colon connect function state if state is equal to enum dot humanoid state type dot swimming then in water is equal to true else in water is equal to false and that's pretty much how you check for it so now if we see in water is false so nothing is happening if we're in the water hmm. and guys i'm pretty sure i made a mistake i'm pretty sure that the state changed function has an old state variable and a new state variable so let's change this to new state Let's, and let's also put it above the while function so that it actually could detect it because the while function is going to work all the time. And it's not going to get to the this part so we're, it's not going to run and we're, it's not going to work. So let's try this out guys. So now we can see we're not in the water. We don't have an oxygen bar. If we're in the water, we have an oxygen bar. And also that's the y, y scale. And I believe instead it should be the X, no offset it should be the x scale and then the y scale should be one so now we can see that if we go inside the water we'll be able to see that our oxygen is decreasing and if we leave our oxygen is increasing slowly and if we wait a bit our oxygen will be full and now if our oxygen runs out let's wait for our oxygen to run out we'll be able to see that we start taking damage and we die so yeah guys that's pretty much how you make an oxygen system in roblox studio it's pretty easy and if you die and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe because it does really help out the channel and again if you do have any issues make sure to join my discord server or comment down below and maybe i could help you out maybe our community can help you out but yeah i hope you did enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one Bye!